So welcome to email relevance. Let me ask all of you, do you have a real business? Put a yes in the chat if you have a real business. Do you need more sales? Do you need people to take more action? So what is relevance? Well, it means a lot of things, but in the context of this training, it is the percentage of your audience who acts on your content. In other words, they took action of some kind. They either opened an email or they clicked on a link. The first concept we're gonna to introduce tonight is something called lifetime value. Lifetime value is how many dollars someone has invested with you since you've built that relationship. And it is a relationship. It is a love relationship. So let's talk about value segments. And I recommend you create different from addresses. The blacklist has negative lifetime value. These are people who have either unsubscribed or they're not opening your emails. You keep sending and sending and sending to them. All they're doing is increasing your cost with your email provider and they're not doing anything. Then there are your subscribers. These have a zero lifetime value. They're opening, they're browsing, they haven't bought anything, they're kind of sitting around waiting for something that catches their attention. And then finally, there's your whitelist, which is your positive lifetime value. When we email our whitelist, it comes from support. When we email our subscribers, it comes from Victor or your personal name. And to our blacklist, we send them Facebook ads. Do not mail to all segments with the same message. I know it's tedious to keep track of three different things, but trust me, the payoff is so worth it. So let's talk first about the whitelist. This is where your lifetime value is greater than zero. When you purchase email relevance, you're gonna receive an email, maybe in a few days, not maybe right away. You'll probably get an email from our service provider, Pay Kickstart first, that gives you your receipt and transaction purchase. Then you're gonna get an email from email relevance. And that email is gonna say, thank you. You're also gonna get if you purchased, and this is actually something I'm working on right now with my customers from SociSnap. Someone earlier asked, what is SociSnap? That's the correct spelling, S-O-C-I-S-N-A-P. You're gonna receive a personal thank you from Victor. And basically it's different than the one that comes from support. Support is gonna give you things like your password, your login information, you know, a phone number if you need uh, help with your billing or anything like that. Me personally, I wanna help teach you how to use the software. And what is basically inside this email? There are three things. There's three important things that will help us continually improve SociSnap for you. We're gonna give you a link to our Facebook groups, our training videos, and support. Okay, so encouraging you like if there's a feature you want or like just the other day, I was on with one of my customers and he put me on a Skype chat with his tech guy and we were chatting back and forth and saying, hey, what features would you like? What words would you like added to the thesaurus? What, which ones would help you with your business? Okay, it's, it's about going the extra mile with your customers. This is where the lifetime value really, really comes in play, okay? And I found an article uh, searching around for this, uh, for this statistic because I had heard of it before. I thought it was seven times, but it, it turns out it's actually five. Uh, the latest data right now, so this is all brand new material. 
It's a brand new infographic that was just published by uh, one of the direct marketing associations. But basically, it costs five times as much to attract a new customer than to keep an existing one. That's huge, okay? 44% of companies have a greater focus on customer acquisition. 18% only focus on retention. That means 80% are sort of wasting their time trying to attract new customers when what they really do, need to be doing is focusing on serving their existing customer. Because it's so out of balance, it's, it's literally 80-20, I would say let's flip it around. For the next month, focus 80% of your day, okay? 80% of your day on just your existing customers. Just for the next month and just report back to me how you're doing, okay? Let's talk about acquisition. This is what everyone is basically focused on. You know, most people are focused 80% of the time on. They're, the channels that are used the most for customer acquisition are the website, email marketing, and social media, okay? Websites are still king. Existing customers are 50% more likely to try new products and spend 31% more when compared to new customers. Okay? The probability of selling to an existing customer is much higher. The probability of selling to a new prospect is between 5 and 20%. And if you focus your energy on your existing customers, and Facebook even has something called existing customers and their friends, it gets even more, more relevant. That's what we cover in Facebook relevance. Rick, can I make a point on this one? Yeah. So guys, this 80-20 rule, the Pareto principle, can be done in practically everything because it's pretty close to being accurate in almost anything you're talking about, okay? Who might be your existing customer. Maybe you don't have a, a quote unquote real business. Maybe you're an affiliate. Who is your existing customer? These are people, existing customers are people you knew before you even got involved in the business. That's your existing customer. That's your 80%. So why are you going out trying to find new people? That's what people tell me all the time in network marketing. Oh, I have no friends left, right? I have to go out to the cold market when 80% of their business can be done in the warm market and the, that's the people you knew before you even started the business. And that 80-20 rule can be done in practically anything you're doing. 80% of your, of your clothes you never wear. You wear 20% of your clothes. So what are you keeping 80% of your clothes? 80% of your stuff you never use, you use 20% of your So if you focus on that 20%, then your productivity goes through the roof. And that's what Victor's talking about. Focus on the 20%, the which is the existing people, right? So focus on, on the people that are going to give you the most bang for your money, which are people you knew before you started the business, or existing customers that you already have versus going out and getting new customers all the time and neglecting people that are already in because you're taking for granted. That's the bottom line with, uh, with what we're talking about here with relevance, okay? So back to you, Vic. Thank you, Peter. And even if you are an affiliate, a lot of people feel if they bought a product through my affiliate link, that they're my customer and they come back to me and say, hey, Vic, I bought this thing from you a couple of years ago. Is this company still around or do you have something, you have a replacement for it, you know? So you can also go back to those existing people and serve them and I encourage you if you're doing something new, okay, there's no better gift than right now to go back to your existing customers. Maybe that you have a little bit negative on the balance sheet, you know, like maybe they bought something and it tanked, okay? It wasn't your fault, it wasn't their fault, we're not casting any blame here, but for whatever reason, the company's not around anymore, the uh, JVZoo product is not listed anymore. They can't get support, but they spent money with you. Give them a gift. Give them a free copy of your latest training. Give them something that you've done just as a gift. 
instead of giving free stuff to opt-ins for a bribe, give free stuff as a bonus for your customers just as a thank you. Is that the, the people, the leads that you have, or, or like you said, Vic, sometimes the, the network marketing company that you belong to or you did belong to doesn't work out. It happens. It's not your fault. It's not their fault. It just didn't work out. And it doesn't mean that you have to never contact someone again. Sometimes you eat in a restaurant that the food's no good. Does that mean you never go to a restaurant again? Of course not. But if you acted professionally with integrity and you did things in an integrous manner with those people and it didn't work out, you have nobody to blame. It's not, it's not your, it's nobody really to blame. It just didn't work out. And that happens, unfortunately, many times in business. So you should have every right and feel very comfortable to go back to that person and say, listen, hey, I realize XYZ company didn't work out, but hey, you know, I've seen this one that I think is really, a, really something I think you, you should take a look at. Instead of just going straight into the cold market and never contacting anybody ever again that you know. Right. So that's a big bugaboo with network marketers is that they're just afraid to go talk to anybody because uh, that they know because um, of the, either the, the industry, the stigma or because they were taught how to do it wrong. If you, and, and again, if you do everything with it, with integrity, with honesty, with professionalism, then if it doesn't work out, hey, you should be able to go to talk to them again and say hey, it didn't work out. And, and, and they should have no problem because you treated them with respect and, and, and so on, so on, so on. Okay. So, um, so that's, that's a big thing to, to remember. And that permeates over to affiliate marketing and everything and just regular traditional business as well too. So it's not just network marketing. That's my specialty, but it's affiliate marketing. It's real traditional brick and mortar business and the whole thing. So um, just keep that in mind when you're, um, when you're looking to generate leads and business and new business. Um, and, and try to balance that with new customers and existing customers trying to have your stuff. When I was in the restaurant business in the, in the 80s, um, it, it, this type of thing is when someone goes into the restaurant, instead of trying to get a new customer, we would just have, the, have we'd, we'd say, hey, we'd like to try this appetizer. Because they're an existing customer, it's easier for me to get them to try an appetizer than try to get a new customer. That's the kind of thing we're talking about here today. So back to you, Vic. Thank you, Peter. So let's talk about retention. Mobile messaging and email wins the retention game. Email, as you look at the little blue arrow, it's 52% as an online channel being used for retention. Mobile messaging, 58%, okay? Those are the highest forms that marketers are using today to retain their existing customers. Paid search and online display advertising, which uh, Facebook ads is part of, is 85% of acquisition, okay? So email really falls in on the space of, of uh, retention more than anything, okay? Social media, still 28% retention. You can use social media marketing for prospecting, okay? However, it's not as good as email, as you can see. Email is the best way to reach people who are your customers. And guess what? <laughs> that support email is not considered a solicitation. Even if they've unsubscribed from your marketing emails, you can still send an email to them as a customer from support. That's why it's so important to have a business and all this comes down to etiquette. I love this picture because it's basically um, kind of follows up with Hollywood from last week, but there's a lot more to that. And some of us are not that good at etiquette. Some of us need to learn. You know, in today's modern society, we've built new rules for etiquette. What Peter and I use is this secret software. Okay, I gave you the link. You can go pick it up. I'm going to put it in chat. But I started using it and I sent the link to Peter and he says, I got to buy that. And you remember, like, we now use this for our emails. We use it for our copy. It writes mm -hmm. our sales letters, our emails, our video sales letter scripts, 
our webinar slides, ads, and more. This software is fantastic. I personally know the guy who made it. It's a, it's a huge time saver. <laughs> so um, I'm all about, I hate to really start something from ground zero from scratch with like a blank sheet of paper. I hate doing that. I would rather have something to say, okay, give me the basic format, outline it for me. Um, as long as I know that it's good, right? And then I could go off in different tangents from there. But doing the initial legwork, the initial research and the formatting and putting this and that together to do that from ground zero, I don't have hours to do that. I would rather have a system to do that for me. And then, then I go in and I put my spin on it. And that's what this software does. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so that's automatic script writing software. Uh, I put that in the chat. I would suggest you go click on that link right now so it's in your browser. You know, complete the checkout because once we stop the webinar, the links are going to go away. Everything is energy, and that's all there is to it. Match the frequency of the reality you want, and you cannot help but get that reality. It can be no other way. This is not philosophy. This is physics from yep. Mr. Albert Einstein. Yep. And I'm going to plus him by saying you can only match a frequency within a domain. If you're in a Faraday cage, right? <laughs> Which is like your, um, like most of your list, Peter, <laughs> your, yep. your list that I keep showing you is at 0%. My goal is to have that segment be 0% because that means everyone else is, is consistently opening your emails. Okay. <laughs> so back to you, Peter, about energy. Uh, we talk about this in intentional mentoring. Yeah. I mean, that's um, a subject that's near and dear to my heart. You know about that Vic. <laughs> yep. Um, so, you know, I, I, um, I mean, I'm probably going to write another book. And I'm probably going to title it, it's all energy. <laughs> you know, everything is energy. So, um, you know, money is energy. I was going to speak at a conference this weekend, but I wasn't able to attend it because of, of uh, my family situation. And my subject was about wealth, money, and energy and how it relates to energy. So you don't get rich, you make it welcome in your life, right? So, um, and that's what basically Einstein's talking about is everything's energy, it's physics. So it's not some you know, airy fairy type of thing, if you really think about it, um, and, and how you can um, use it to your advantage in your email copywriting and your funnels, and, and attraction marketing, law of attraction, all these different types of things, it all revolves around energy, right? So and, and transference of emotion, because what is emotion? Emotion is energy, right? It's, it's, it's a highly focused energy, which is more like a magnifying glass, right? And Emotion is, is transferring that energy into one spot. And you're trying to do that in your email where you're trying to focus in on that energy and getting people to feel that in the subject line, in the, in the body of your email and transfer it into the website. So it's all revolving around this, this, this energy con concept and um, bringing it down into different applications that we're, we're teaching you every week. So back to you, Vic. I love the slide, by the way. Yeah, that's great. A big thank to Richard uh, for sending me that slide. Thank you, Richard. Yep. Okay, so now we're going to move into the new material. <laughs> okay. This is the part that everyone, um, all the email marketing companies are focused on, is this idea of a subscriber. Okay. And a subscriber is not a customer. They are not a buyer. And I suggest that you, you probably, once they become a customer, you, you probably should remove them from your subscribers list because it, they get confused. They get inundated. I would send them to your VIP list. And so what you do is you maintain a VIP list and a subscribers list. Your VIP list is all your customers. And then your subscribers, are all your goldfish, okay? Goldfish. Goldfish have an attention span 
of seven seconds. And a recent study was done that human attention span is around two seconds. So human <laughs> beings today, because of social media, have a two second attention span less than a goldfish. And this is why it's so important to have content and copywriting, okay? These days, and pay attention, this is so important. And, and this may come as a shock to all of you who are content purists. No one cares about your content. They care about the copy that is written to describe what your content will do for someone else. And that's a big distinction. So no one cares about intentional mentoring. No one cares about vibrational riches. It's kind of a cool, catchy title. What people care about is, hey, if I come to a Monday call and listen to Peter, and all of a sudden, magically, I notice my business has doubled, wow, that's the result, okay? That's what a copywriter will do. They will say, okay, what is the content going to do for me? And it's not a conjecture. And this is where a lot of people get wrong. They start talking in terms of benefits. No one cares about your benefits. And they also don't really care about your features. What they care about is literally what it has done for others and the proof, okay? So here's a question. What copy is currently being used to generate leads and make sales? This is way more important than a capture page, landing page, opt-in page, or anything like that. It kind of drives me crazy when uh, I see marketers out there selling, I'm not gonna name names, but there's a number of them out there that sell done for you landing pages, capture pages, and things like that, but they're not actually using those themselves. They're selling that to their team and they're selling it to their people, but they themselves use something completely different. So what really matters is what copy is currently being used to generate leads and make sales. A way to identify that is look at what copy your competitors are using to generate leads and make sales. And it is kind of a sneaky thing to do, but if you know a leader in a company, opt into their list and study their emails. But don't copy them directly. Use a tool like SociSnap to rewrite your letter. And that's what we're gonna be talking more about next week. Okay, here's a little preview of what we're gonna cover. Okay, tonight we're gonna cover headlines. Next week, we're gonna cover hooks and leads. And then we're gonna cover lists and benefits. And then we're gonna cover proof stories. And then finally, we're gonna cover calls to action. This is a multi-week series because this is what everyone is missing. So we talked about SociSnap. So if you wanna pick up this tool, you can go sign up at SociSnap.com. But the most important thing is right now is using it to replace words like for you. I was shocked when I found that for you is actually a spam word. Well, think about it. Marketers use the word for you. If you're sending a personal letter to your best friend, you wouldn't say for you. You would use a different tone of voice. Like, hi, how are you doing? Hey, by the way, did you get the email I sent you a few days ago? Right? You wouldn't say, oh yeah, did you get the email I sent a few days ago? It would really benefit your business. And uh, by the way, I made it specially for you, right? <laughs> but even especially for people like you is a much better replacement than for you. It's more accurate and it doesn't trigger the spam bots. Peter, you've noticed a difference since we started doing this with your emails, haven't you? Oh, yeah, absolutely. And in some of the things, some of the words and word phrases, you would have never thought, you know, <laughs> that they would do this. So, it, and it's impossible for with the hundreds and hundreds of words and word phrases to know all of them. So this software that's included with SociSnap does all that for you. So you should run all your emails and all your posts through this first 
before you actually use them because it'll increase your engagement because they'll actually get it. You know, or let me, let me put it this way. They'll have an increased probability of them getting it, right? Um, so it's, a, it's an incredible feature that you added to the software just recently. Thank you, Peter. Okay, so now you got your tools in place. You want to ask yourself the four magic email copywriting questions. And Peter, we're going to go through this little exercise as an example using SociSnap. So let's okay. go. Question number one, why now? Is it new? Is it on sale? Is it limited or is it exclusive? Is it timely? These are the types of questions you want to ask. So Peter, why now? Why should they buy SociSnap right now? Because it's immediately going to increase their sales, immediately. <laughs> <laughs> right, so what you do is you ask that question to your best friend. Mm -hmm. You know, and Peter, I consider you one of my best friends in the world. Mm -hmm. And you ask them honestly, don't try to do this yourself. Do it in dialogue. Team up with someone. Pair up with someone. If you join our master class, we'll team you up with someone. But basically, you want to go back and forth. Okay, so ask me a question about one of your products. Why should people buy, uh, let's say, Daily Digital Club? Ask me that question. Yeah, Vic, why do you think that people should take action and buy Daily Digital Club? Because it's like buying a hundred dollar a month membership site that you can resell with a hundred percent commissions. If I, when I resell other people's hundred dollar a month programs, I only get like a 30% commission. So I'm actually better off selling your program to my subscribers because it acts as a membership site for my own content. It's totally a no brainer. It allows me to basically set up an environment where I give people my bonus training if they sign up through my link. And the, the value I give them is let's say $300 a month. So why wouldn't anyone buy that? All they need to do is unsubscribe for $100 a month from some other program that they've already paid for that maybe they're not using. One of my customers the other day said they were paying 200 a month for a program that they had never even opened. I said, you know what? Hold your hand over your head. Log into that back office and click cancel. Contact your <laughs> bank. Cancel your credit cards. Guess what happens when you cancel your credit cards? All your automatic payments will stop. <laughs> and then you can go and resubscribe to all the things you want. So you should buy Daily Digital Club because it's the best value out there. Good answer? I think I'm going to go sign up. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right. Question number two. Who cares? Why do people care if they're getting a 0.7% click rate or a 0.2% open rate? Who would be affected most positively or negatively by having or most importantly not having what you're selling? So Peter, who cares about SoCSnap? Well, I mean, uh, you got to make you you um Raise the awareness of, of people and why they need to get SociSnap because you heard a lot of people on here don't even know about it. So I think anybody that uses any kind of social media, any kind of platform, whether it's uh, LinkedIn or YouTube or Facebook or any anything that's out there, any comments, they're the people that need to use SociSnap because you saw some of the examples that I posted before on that on how different it makes the posts. And if you have it, active on your your browser at any point it only takes you a few seconds to be able to take your content that you would have normally posted anyway and just copy and pasting it over there to wherever you're posting and make it different and your engagements will go up drastically love it love it that's see that now we're writing copy you see how powerful that is so now you have an audio recording of this you go back to the replay okay you have someone transcribe that text and then that's how you build your emails and your sales letters. Are you understanding how the, what the process is here? Okay. Yeah. Question number three is why should they care? What does their life look like before your product or service and after? So Peter, what, 
what was your life like before you started using Sosi Snap, and what is your life like now after using Sosi Snap? Yeah, it's um, and and this is a technique used in practically any type of um, uh, scenario, and and that you know, you you tell the person how your life was before and how you use the product and what it's like now. So, you know, before it's, uh, I didn't know any different. I was just posting like everybody else was posting. But once I became aware of the product itself and using it, and I saw the drastic increase in responses, it was like, an, uh, like I wrote in my email, like an epiphany happened, like, holy cow, how did I not know about this before? Because it was so, uh, so different and so much better and uh, I, I just could not, I couldn't not use it anymore, right? So I, I had to use it. So it, it drastically it. changed the response rates and the engagements on my posts. Yeah, so ask me the same question about Daily Digital now. So, so Vic, before you started using Daily Digital, what was your, you know, your, your membership uh, in different membership sites like, and when you started using Daily Digital, how has that changed? Honestly, I had a lot of people complaining to me about the quality of the content they were getting in these other membership sites. And since I've been promoting Daily Digital, I'm building a, a team of people that really, really love the replays. They love the content. They feel it's really, really high quality, high value. And they're, they're finally actually take, you know, they're taking action. Whereas before they would sort of log in and ignore it. But now with Daily Digital, uh, I'm finally seeing a member back office with a number that I see, in, you know, in the, the total commissions that I feel proud of rather than like, oh, well, I'm kind of embarrassed to show it to anyone. <laughs> and no, no, I'm not going to show it to anyone. But it feels really good. I was like, wow. This program really works. What do you think, Peter? Awesome. Yeah. 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 It's, it's refreshing to, to see the money coming in like that. Oh, it's so refreshing to see the money coming in. And you know, the thing is, I, I had a little snafu with PayPal. Um, and I had to have PayPal shut down for a week while there was a, a problem with it. It's back up again. But during that time frame, I needed to generate daily sales, okay? And so I switched everything to daily digital, and I was able to sustain my sales volume uh, simply by switching my focus over there. So again, there's a silver lining. When things shut down in one realm, it's time to focus on something else. One of my, he was actually probably my first mentor was Robert G. Allen, who wrote Multiple Streams of Income. He said, always have multiple things going on. So if something shuts down, you can, you can have it, you know, you have a backup plan, right? And a lot of people right now are evaluating their decisions with the quarantine and why they didn't have a backup plan. So there's going to be a lot of changes the way people are thinking as this starts to um, resolve itself over the next few months. Yeah. And we just got approved for uh, the, uh, PPP loan, and I've been doing events with my CPA on that. It's just nice having that extra money and as padding to make sure that our business stays online. We basically have our hosting and our overhead and our payroll and everything covered for the next eight weeks, um, which is a nice feeling. It's a nice feeling. So uh, more on that later. Um, I, I'll... I'll put some of those replays uh, as soon as they're edited in the member back office. Okay, Peter? It's really okay. great to have a real CPA that understands how to read these, these forms. All right, so how can you prove it? Well, in the case of emails, especially in the context of tonight's webinar, I think 119.8% open rate speaks for itself. It actually went up higher, Peter, because time has passed. That one email that we wrote. <laughs> now, granted, the subject line, neither you nor I wrote that subject line. It was actually the people I learned email marketing from that wrote that subject line. Okay. <laughs> Which is uh, something we're going to talk about at Email Relevance right now. 
But that subject line, I'm not going to tell you what it is. <laughs> you have to buy the course, buy the program, and then you'll get the subject line. That subject line alone has been one of the most best subject lines I've ever, 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 ever used. It's literally a secret weapon in and of itself. But how could you get 120% open rate? Well, that means that people open two or three times the same letter. Okay? It's crazy. So how can you prove it? Well, Peter, you can certify that this is actually in your account, yes? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's my account. Yeah, so <laughs> that's proof that the method we're talking about here does, in fact, work. So that's, that's uh, question number four. So now let's talk about four reasons why people buy. I want all of you guys to go to email relevance and buy this program tonight. Why? Well, there's four reasons. First of all, personal gain. Peter and I believe that you will drastically see an increase in your bottom line. Secondly, it's all based on logic and research. It's all scientifically based. It's all based on things that we've done. It's not based on any theory. It's based on extensive work that's been done by others that have paved the way before us. However, we've taken it and put it into practice. Furthermore, it's also based on social proof and influence, the science of selling, tried and true principles that work. And finally, there is a fear of loss or missing out. The price will double after the enrollment period is over. That would be an example of the ingredients on a typical like a sales letter or an email for email relevance. So the bottom line is you need to gather all these ingredients together and all the sales ingredients must be covered in your email somewhere. It all starts with the subject line, however, and you don't want to put all of the ingredients in your subject line. But as Peter pointed out in the pre green room, one of the things that you want and you notice that a lot of the ingredients, Peter, in your last email mm -hmm. that you showed at the very beginning, it had these four ingredients in there somewhere. Right, Peter? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I don't know whatever, you, whatever they're making, but it looks really good. Probably pizza or something. Yeah, yeah. It looks like <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a spinach pizza. Uh, oh, it looks awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So let's talk about subject lines. As many of you know, as I have a search engine called EarthGrid, and I did a little search for email subject lines, best length or something like that. And I found a magazine uh, called Inc. Many of you have heard of it. And this, this article was called the perfect length for an email subject line. A few keystrokes can boost the open rate of your marketing emails 5% or more. And the bottom line is six to 10 words is the sweet spot. Out of analyzing 260 million emails through 540 campaigns, the author of this article in Inc. basically found that subject lines that had six to 10 words performed the best. However, more than half of the emails had too many words in them, and that's one of the problems. If you have too many words in your subject line, it is not as good of a conversion. Now, in average, they found six words did a 16% open rate. However, the email that got Peter and I almost 120% open rate that only I think has four words in it. So these rules, even from Inc. Magazine, we've been able to beat them. 
And what you're going to see is every single one of the emails that we've studied is beating Inc's numbers by a landslide. Nothing happens until your email gets opened, okay? So I'm just going to give you some closing quick tips on how to craft relevant subject lines. And we can go more deeply into this next week. There are four types of subjects. Curiosity building subjects, direct benefit subjects, urgency, scarcity subjects, and proof of results subjects. Here are some case studies from my list, not necessarily, these are not even in Peter's list, okay? This is an email I sent on Monday, okay? Attention business owners, SBA loans, what does forgivable really mean? That is a direct benefit subject line had a 56% open rate. Here's another one I sent out. Poll, what is the most valuable channel when it comes to ROI? It's a direct segmentation subject line with a little sprinkle of curiosity, but it did really, really well. Uh, this is only five words. This had a 69.2% open rate. Have you seen this yet? Okay. And this was an email that I sent to my VIP list. Okay. And it says, if you're on my VIP list, it's fair to assume. So next week, we're going to be de deconstructing the actual body of the email. But I just want you to understand, just see a few ideas of open rates, okay? So out of these various subject types, okay, curiosity, direct, urgency, or proof, Please put in the chat, what's your guess? Which of the four categories is that subject line? Have you seen this yet? Someone says curiosity? Yes, you got it right. Who said that? That's uh, Maria. Thank you, Maria. All right, Maria, I'm going to email you a bonus gift. Thank you, Maria. Yeah, see what happens? <laughs> Okay, so this is the part that all of you want to stick around for because we're going to do an exclusive offer. Uh, Peter, I, you and I talked about this. Let me ask everyone here, is it okay if I give you a, an exclusive offer? Peter and I talked about this and we said, you know what? What if we do a four-week deep dive? We're all still stuck at home, at least for the next few weeks. And um, I said, Peter, could we do six weeks? He said, no, we're going to do four. So we're going to do a deep dive. It's probably going to be about an hour to two hour sessions. They're going to be pretty long. They're going to be very in-depth. They're going to be very tactical. We're going to be focusing on, these are going to happen on Tuesdays, okay? We're still going to have our public sessions on Thursdays, but we're going to have a VIP group that's going to be meeting on Tuesdays to actually put these things into practice. We're going to be helping you write emails. We're going to help you craft subject lines. We're going to be helping you get more opens and more clicks. We're going to be analyzing your data. We're going to be going into goals and metrics. We're going to do list CPR, reviving your dead and nearly dead email lists, getting them opening and clicking again. Head on over to emailrelevance.com. And since you're here tonight, you can enter a coupon code DDC, upper or lower case. It's going to reduce the price to 375, okay? So it's $500, discount is 125. The total is 375. We take PayPal, we take credit cards. If you wanna do week by week, then it's 125. That is our webinar for tonight. We're gonna to come on cameras and then uh, we're gonna have some closing comments. If people just get that one sale in their business will pay for the cost of this course, it's crazy. You've sold email lists to people. You've given people emails. Um, I think we have a bonus inside of like, I think we have a bonus. We'll give people a thousand emails to get started of your own database. <laughs> but unless they actually understand what to say to them,
and how to engage with them, all they're going to end up doing is same old, same old, same old, same old, same old. And email is the best way to generate sales. I went through my numbers and email is still the way that our business makes the most sales. Even though we run Facebook ads, even though we run Google ads, we still make the most sales from email. And the way we make the most sales is what's called campaign-based email. And a campaign is where we take one singular message and we send it out on simultaneous channels, which we call multi-channel marketing. They get the same message on their email. They get it in their groups. They get it on Facebook. They get it in Skype. They get it all over the place. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna, guys, is this awesome? Can you see that? I know it's a shame that that's going away. <laughs> I know. Awesome. This uh, this is my my office down here in New York City. Just uh, great. Just had a great sun uh, sunset. So, um, guys, I wanted to to pass on what Victor just mentioned that. How much is you doing it wrong costing you, right? How many sales are you losing by people not opening your email? Even And if you can get it up even 5%, 10%, 20% more, how much money are you losing daily, weekly, monthly, yearly? I guarantee you it's a lot more than $375. That's what you have to think about regarding the thought of whether or not you want to participate in how to do this because this knowledge – that you're going to get on how to do this correctly and how to increase your relevance with your subject lines, your body, all these different types of things we're talking about is a skill you're going to have for the rest of your life. And your skills are a direct result of how much money you make or how much money you can command. So one of the skills is email, email relevance, subject line, body, writing, and, all, and, and the tactics by which you can get other people to see your emails. So the, the money, the $500, $375 with the discount is, is minuscule compared to the problem. I would venture to say tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars that you will lose by not getting this course over the lifetime of your participation online, affiliate marketing, network marketing, and so on. And I could say that bluntly because I did that for the first 10 years. <laughs> in my, uh, my 30 year career. How much money did I lose by not getting a mentor because I thought I could do it all myself? I, I went into hundreds of thousands of dollars in credit card debt because I thought I could do it myself. I knew better than them. Instead of just saying, listen, I'm just gonna buy this course, I'm gonna get mentored by people and know what they're doing, and I'm gonna shrink that timeline, and I, saved, I could have saved myself hundreds of thousands of dollars and, and almost 10 years of pain. So um, don't get cheap on yourself. Don't get cheap on yourself. This, this is a course that is really, really good. And like Victor said, uh, Victor and I charge upwards of $500 an hour for our time. And uh, we will both be there for these four classes. And what else are you going to do for uh, the quarantine time? Why not raise your skill level so you can use that to be able to generate more money over the lifetime of your participation in affiliate or network marketing? So, guys, Consider that as you're deciding whether or not you want to do this. So back to Vic. If you follow what we did with Facebook relevance, it started at 500 and now it's 2000 because as we develop, as we grow and as we start increasing it, this is a beta group. Okay. So we want you to join our beta group for email relevance. This is the first one. There is a timer. Once the class starts, the price is going to double. And then we're gonna close the doors after week number two. And Peter and I are gonna put all of our effort, all of our emails into getting people to this program because now is the time where we need an army of people that actually know how to do the best practices in email. So if you wanna do the installment, just pay the 125 and then we'll worry about the rest of it later. Okay? The system will automatically bill you. Yeah, there's a benefit to paying all at once, and that's the coupon code. <laughs> yeah. uh, we've, we've had some pretty good email <laughs> campaigns. 
we, we went from like a completely dead list to an almost now starting to come back to life list. <laughs> 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 yeah, ra raising from the dead is is pretty accurate. Um, so uh, yeah, and and it's not the size of your list doesn't really matter so much as the engagement. You know, it's it's how many people are actually looking for your email, getting your email, opening your email, and engaging versus um, I had so many people on my list that hadn't opened up an email in two years. You know, so um, the, yet yet I was paying for that in in my autoresponder system that I was using, and they weren't even bothering to open up the email so why bother so i just slimmed it down and just chopped it chopped, well victor did that is uh chopped it up and only kept relevant people on there so so it's very very important to understand and know this stuff so uh congratulations on all the people that are signing up for this you're going to love this course and you're going to be able to put it into practical action from the very first week that we start teaching you so uh so congratulations on you guys doing that yeah, one of the prerequisites, if you don't have SociSnap and you want to go through our program, you must get SociSnap because that's the tool we're going to be using for, um, there's even a free trial available. Just go to SociSnap.com. So, so guys, anybody that's uh, purchasing, when I know we got quite a few people that are purchasing to come on here. I look forward to seeing you next week on the training. And uh, you guys are going to love, love, love the training. It's going to be worth every penny and then some. And uh, I think you're gonna, you're gonna really love it. Just the key thing is you have to implement, right? You can learn all the stuff you want, but if you don't take action on it, it's not gonna mean anything, right? So you have to take action on the different things that we're gonna teach you so you can see the results and track it. Otherwise, you're not gonna be able to know. You know, uh, if, you, if you don't track and be able to see the result changes, it's tough to know. So these types of things, make sure you take action, make sure you track it, and then you're gonna see uh, incremental uh, increases in your business as you go forward. So, so thanks everybody for coming on and we'll see you next week. Okay, great. Thank you, thanks, Peter. Mate. Thanks for coming on.